What's up everybody, it's Pepperoni here coming to you with another video. So in my last video that I just recorded, I kind of gave a disclosure. So yes, your girl's been working out, so I'm a little sweaty. You guys might see sweat marks on me. I'm kind of like doing videos and I'm going to work out, doing videos, going to work out. So, you know, just keeping myself engaged, honey. But this is my thing. So we're going to, ooh. So we're just going to see what comes out today. Might not resonate. It might. It might not. I don't really know. But we'll see, okay? Someone could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. Some of you guys could be seeing the number 111. Honey, there's an X coming through here. I'm sorry. We got the X factor. Someone could listen to Lauren Hill a lot. Like the Fugees. Your friends are trying to talk to me. Um, Give me one second, y'all. Listen, this just came through. If you're a, was it Sagittarius? Y'all be careful of letting y'all friends be by y'all dude. And I'm not saying that to be insecure, but like, I don't know if you got only for who it's for. If you guys have been picking up on an energy of like your friends being a little sneaky with your person, whether y'all talk to each other or not, or whether it's their friends being a little bit sneaky with you. Of course, my fucking camera's about to die as I'm giving this knowledge. But um, yeah, we got cancer energy. Leo energy. I stalk your social media. We got 111 that came out of fucking again. X Factor. New house, new car, new job. Anyways, just be careful. Y'all ain't tripping. Somebody's energy here. It's like there's a friend that wants to talk to you or there could be one of your friends that want to talk to your person. So if they've been getting a little bit too close, shut that shit down. That's for who that's for. But I'm also picking up on where your person's friend might want to talk to you and i think they know about this i don't know weird energy but anyway 111 coming through there's like a real big energy of new um i'm not even picking up on like new energy between you and your person i'm picking on picking up on new energy for you new house new car new this new that new options possibly um a lot of manifestation energy coming through here some of y'all could be doing a lot of ritual work with this new moon um energy coming in or maybe like uh during the new moon you guys did a lot of ritual work uh this dying like this is like it's like an alarm for me so i don't know there's something about an alarm 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 wake up wake up so i don't know maybe you guys are progressing in life and i feel like your person sees this especially with that i stalk your social media and they feel like they have to act fast but this is the thing i'm gonna let this charge and we're gonna come back all right my bad i'm back i had to let my uh camera charge and then girl i just did a reel on my instagram if you guys want to tap in it's a are they over you reel girl I don't know like it's like I mm, I think I'm just so nitpicky about stuff like I don't know like I'm very nitpicky about my content I'm very anal I'm very like I look at all the intricate details I'm like so surprised I don't have like certain Virgo placements I'm gonna have to check into that because honey like I'd be like critical I'd be like mm, <laughs> like really like looking and I'm very like perfection it has to be and i'm not like that but i am like that with certain things like with my aesthetic i'm just like okay it has to look a certain way be a certain way i don't know and then like i get caught up and then i get drained because i'm putting so much energy into these intricate details i don't fucking know i don't know that was just a mini rant but like basically what i'm trying to say is that real just pissed me the fuck off it took a lot of my energy but i'm back i'm back it took a while like it's not even light outside anymore like what are we doing like i'm just, ugh, just a mess anyway back to your person so that's what i was picking up on i don't know if you guys heard me of course you did but uh it was like warning warning like i don't know if they think you're moving on i don't know if they've been in like a stagnant energy for a while they could be a scorpio one second um and if they're not a scorpio there could be some type of like wake up call that they're going through right now that's kind of forcing them to be like oh shit i forgot i gotta do that or oh shit i should probably like hop on that right now like i don't know there's a real like aha like <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm almost getting the ace of swords in my head uh like an epiphany girl this this definitely got to be a scorpio because i didn't see the death card um i didn't see the judgment card like what's going on okay girl i split the deck we have the ace of swords and we have the seven of pentacles it's like, okay, if y'all go on my Instagram and go look at the reel that I just posted, the are they over you, I feel like some of y'all might have chose pile two. Let me just tell you a scenario. This might not be for everybody, but it's almost like this person is waiting for you, 
big epiphany, want to communicate, want to reach out, but it's almost like, I don't know if their pride won't let them. It's a real big, like, you got to reach out to me. And it's so funny because a lot of you guys probably tried to reach out to this person or you tried to extend that olive branch, but it's almost like they didn't respond. That's the thing about your person. I don't know what's going on with them. They can have some like cancer placements. I don't know why that just came through, but there's an energy of them really, they want they want to see how far you're going to go. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? They want to see just how far you're going to push the limit. Some of them like when you chase them, blow up their phone. It's a constant like, okay, are you going to chase me? Are you going to like continue to text me? And like you guys are just like, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> and I don't know, it's like a real big waiting type of energy. I really do feel like some of you guys have tried to talk. Um, or maybe you guys are talking, but it's not really going nowhere. I'm also picking up on an energy of your person waiting on something. So let's see. Why the Seven of Pentacles, Spirit? God, why the Seven of Pentacles for the person? Girl, my knees and my legs just can't, they can't take. They just can't take. Bending over like this. We got the Ten of Swords. Um, okay. This is what I'm talking about. It's almost like... You see all them little swords right there? Y'all could also have this person blocked. I'm getting like attempted communication with these swords. Or there was like real brutal communication. Someone's acting like they don't really care, but they're watching you. It's a lot of like acting like this didn't happen. Girl, okay. So going back to what I just asked. The Seven of Pentacles. We had the Ten of Swords. Okay. For some of you guys, there's something that I feel like they were waiting on. Um, that did not work out. I'm also picking up on for some of you guys, they might have been stalling prior to you guys disconnecting and it's almost like they're running out of time. It's something about time. They keep feeling like they're running out of time, especially with this Ten of Swords. <sighs> Somebody definitely feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. We got the Judgment card again, girl. I'm not about to play. Definitely some karma coming through. I don't know what they were doing, but it's something that y'all might have been drawn to because I just literally saw the video that I made. Um, the karma video with the ancestors, how I said your ancestors are all over this. If you watch that video, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Girl, it's like they were trying to, dang, they were trying to play it like real smooth and it kind of bit them in the ass. I don't know if they were trying to, it's an energy of self-sabotaging, but I don't feel like this person knew they were self-sabotaging. Some of them didn't really feel like you were down. Right, I know, just stay with me. Like, I know you, you're probably like, what the fuck? Like, how could they say that? Like, they're the ones, yeah, but this is in their mind. So it's almost like they felt like they had to test you, and that's where they fucked up. Whatever they did and whatever plan they had, it's like they really thought this was going to work, and it was just like, now, why would you think that was going to work? Something bit them back in the ass, and I feel like they really, you know what's so funny, and I'm not standing up for your person. For some of you guys, this person was trying to stall it's almost like they weren't going to give up whatever that was until they knew for sure you were like fully in there. But it's like, y'all feel like, well, bitch, and now I said it, bitch, I'm not going to be fully in there if my energy is picking up on you being unfaithful or you being um, fake. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like this person was trying to have their cake and eat it too. I keep getting that, um, oh, and I can't remember where this is from. I think it's from uh, Family Guy. Do y'all remember when they showed like Hitler and it was like the girl and like they were like, ah, you drink the poison, you drink the poison. And it's like, ah, like y'all know what I'm talking about. It's on, I, I don't know. I think it's on Family Guy, but it's like Hitler and like a girl. And they're like both talking about how they're going to like kill themselves, but they're like waiting for the other person to do it. It's like a real big sleeping with the eye open or sleeping with one eye open, but it's like y'all both do this. Like, I don't know. You guys are both like, mm, like you got to watch each other, but y'all love each other or care about each other. But you're like, mm, I got to watch you. And your person feel like, feels like they have to watch you too. So let me, let me ask about that real quick. Why do they feel like that? The justice card. I feel like, let me tell y'all. It's already coming down. I don't even need the cards right now. Tell me down below. Has your person ever told you or mentioned how you guys are very different from some of the people that they dated before? Uh, this could be in the sense of you guys create more peace, but I'm not even really getting that. Mm -mm. I'm more so getting, you guys don't take this person's shit. So it's almost like, They'll tell you like, oh my gosh, you're different from other girls. Like I can't just, like I just can't get away with some stuff with you. Or like, I keep getting this like, it's this line coming towards me. But I can't say it. Like I don't know, it's not coming out right. But it's almost like, um, it's like they know they can't get stuff past you. 
So they like that, but they also don't like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think they're used to dating feminines or masculines that kind of like let them do whatever the fuck they want. You're different. You're not having it. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's threatening. I don't know. And with this uh, justice card, hold up. I just lost my train of thought. Something about you, and believe it or not, I mean, y'all can say, oh, no, I ain't nothing like them. Yeah, whatever. But it's something about you that reminds them of them and that scares them. I'm telling you, I keep seeing these two people look at each other and they watching each other because it's like, oh, I know, I know. Like, I met you before. Like, I know you. Like, I know, I know your ways. And the only reason y'all know each other ways, if we want to be honest, I'm going to just call everybody out, is because a lot of y'all have them same ways in you. I'm just going to say it. I'm not, I'm sorry. Like, you know, P got to keep it real. It's almost like, because we got to be honest. Like, with our shadow traits and with our light traits, sometimes it can be very scary when you meet somebody just like you or someone who has the same abilities as you. Maybe this person is very psychic like you and you're like, whoa, 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 I'm not really used to meeting somebody that has the same abilities as me. I got to watch you because what are you doing with those abilities? Not everybody's using these abilities, you know what I'm saying? in the most positive manner it's just a real big energy like you're powerful i'm powerful like okay so what the fuck is up i'm telling you your person is used to being the baddest bitch and you know when you came through they just weren't so it's like a real big i'm threatened by you but i'm intrigued by you and what's going on back there oh, okay <laughs> sorry but anyway just fucking hair i'm so mad i had to cut it but it is what it is okay how are they feeling right now this person well, I feel like there was some type of karma. We got the Ten of Pentacles. How are they feeling? The King of Wands. The Hangman. Why the Ten of Pentacles? I'm not going to lie. You know, exactly. Okay, so at first I was going to say, and I feel like this is the energy of them wanting to commit to you. Damn, I was not wanting this storyline to come out. But for some of you guys, they're already in something. Like, they already have obligations elsewhere. This could be a person. This could be work commitments i don't know but it's almost like they see longevity with you but they're kind of already in a connection a lot of them want to rush towards you with this king of wands um i don't know they're very sexually charged right now something about y'all staying away is like really turning this person on but with this hang this hang man if that's not the energy your person could also just be a fire sign with this hang one so the hang man energy coming through here they're bound by something so some for some of you i feel like they're stuck in a commitment right now and that's the thing, whatever plan they had, for some of you guys, they were juggling two things. And this is the same shit that they was juggling before. It's like, I don't know if they was trying to wait to see if this was going to work out. And then whatever the fuck, it didn't work. And um, they didn't think it through. So now it's like, at this point, they're still stuck in this, whatever this situation is. They got one foot in, one foot out, literally, of whatever this is. But for a lot of you guys, it's almost because I feel like, they're not sure if you're going to take them back. I'm not going to lie. With this Five of Pentacles being in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of inner conflict. They feel lost. Um, but with the Five of Pentacles being in reverse, I'm not seeing that as a bad thing. I'm almost seeing it as like they want to come out of being in this, this energy of not wanting to talk. Like at this point, they're starting to get into this energy where they're like, okay, like we need to talk about this. And for some of you guys, if this resonates, especially with the storyline that I just uh, mentioned with the, the karma video, it's because time has passed. So I don't know if they're waiting for a specific date so that they can kind of come to you. I don't know what's going on here with this star card. Someone could be an Aquarius here. Girl. Um, hold on, hold on. The Wheel of Fortune is here. And we also have the Six of Wands. What? Why is this coming through? Yeah, okay. Oh! <laughs> With this Knight of Pentacles um, in reverse, okay? Yeah, okay, this is, this is funny. Okay, I don't know what your, it's, it's hard to say because I don't know what your person was waiting on, but I see a lot of like, there's a lot of showy energy. So like this person, this person this person is likely going to come in wanting to show off something so i'm not sure what this is about but it's like there's something that's been in the making i don't know if they've been trying to accumulate money i don't know what it is that they want to show off but if that resonates your person is probably one of those people that like i don't know why they're like this but they have to show off to you like they have to get your attention by showing off some of them might flash other people other connections hold up oh, okay had to check my lips um or y'all 
ever dated someone and they had to, they just always got to tell you what they doing like hey I just want to let you know that I just kind of you know washed my car or like I just got a new car I don't know there's an energy of them wanting to show off it is crazy because with this knight of pentacles there's a lot of fast moving energy so what's their next move we have the king of swords and we have the everything is fine oh this person is stubborn they feel this there's a lot of wanting to rush towards you but it's also like this person is very disciplined they're like mm, mm, nope I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna but like they're only gonna be able to do this for so long so if your person is still in this very ego type vibe it's because I'm not gonna lie there's a lot of success in their life right now I feel like things are working out in their favor this could also be for you guys as well there's a lot of like success promotions things working out well you know when things are going good sometimes you can put certain things on the back burner and be like okay I'm just not going to focus on that. But honey, what's going to be what's going to happen in the near future? We have the magician card. For some of you guys, there's like a lot of like I don't know, it's almost like this person is like trying to better themselves for you to come back. There's a show off the energy to try to get your attention. So if you guys don't have this person blocked, I'm just seeing a lot of like trying to get in your vision. So it's almost like if you guys were walking straight and this person is all the way over there, they're going to do everything they can to get in front of you so you can see them. There's a lot of them wanting to wanting you to see them. I don't know what that's about. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Strength card, and we have the Queen of Cups. So there's going to be an offer coming in. For some of you guys, it's an apology, but it's a page. I don't know what this page energy is. For some of you guys, they're only going to start small because they want to test the waters. This Magician card, there's a lot of like coming in. I'm getting like a salesperson like coming in, letting you know, hey, I want this or hey, this is what I'm getting. I don't know why I keep picking up on this show off the energy. There's a lot of like trying to persuade you to come to them, but it's like with luxury so i don't know what that's about it's real ego based but they just haven't gotten it in their fucking cranium that like that's not what you're looking for you're looking for the stability you're looking for the real shit like here they go still doing that other stuff i'm not gonna lie though for some of you guys there is an energy of them wanting to come in and be more receptive um be more in their feminine energy but then a lot of y'all not really having that. You're just like, can we, I'm tired of you being on the receiving end. Are you going to give? Like, are you going to give anything? Like, it's like they're, they're willing to receive all the emotion that you want to, um, want to talk to. <sighs> I'm going to get this message out. Energy of them wanting to receive what it is that you have to put out. But it's like, when it comes to, yeah, it's like they want to receive, but the giving is small. And that's the problem. That's the problem. How do they feel about my viewers? Wow, but we got the four of wands and we got the four of swords. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck is going on? This person is very conflicted. Let me ask that real quick before I talk about that. Why are they so conflicted? Nine of cups. It's a lot of ego. I don't know why. Oh, no, girl. Hold on. Anyway, so I'm not sure why, but there's just a lot of ego about like, I don't know. We keep getting this damn ace of swords. They're having an epiphany. But there's a lot of ego. It's like they don't want you to find out that you were right about something. It's like, I don't know. They're like, oh, these are so tight. But it's almost like there's an energy of them fighting themselves. It's like one minute they want to come to you and be vulnerable, but then they're like, nah, that's too much. Or nah, he, she going to know that they were right. It's like the pride and the ego overall is just getting in the way. But they want to come towards you. And I feel like they are going to come towards you. It's just going to be so ego-based because they just can't get out of their own way. And for some of you guys, you guys are like that too. I just heard that from Spirit. Mm. We got the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's, there's, you see what I'm talking about? This is, this is conflicted. The Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups. We clear, then we unclear. We clear, then we unclear. I don't know if this like commitment scares this person. I don't know if this is also just an energy of them thinking about you a lot. They think about you heavily. They fantasize about you. There's a lot of like, uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but like, what are we doing? Like, that I am definitely hearing missed opportunities. Some of them feel like if they come back to you, you're going to literally reject them. And for some of you guys, you are. But there's like an energy of like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to hear what I said. Like, or I'm just going to say what I heard. I just heard like, you stupid bitch or that stupid bitch. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe your person talks like that. I'm so sorry. But like, I literally am hearing that. I feel like they talk like that about you. <laughs> like when they're like by themselves. Because it's almost like, 
I keep getting this visual of them being like, I want to tell this stupid bitch that I love her, but she just going to be acting crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm literally hearing that. So that's your person. I'm, I'm sorry. But like, they feel like, you see how she got her legs crossed? It's like, they know that when they come back, it's going to make them look silly or they're just going to feel silly. But really, if they just will come back and apologize and get out of their ego. But I don't know. It's just a real big energy. They feel like you guys are going to shit on them. And if you know for a fact that you are, they can feel that. So I feel like your person is actually very intuitive and that's actually stopping them from coming forward to do anything. I'm just saying. But this four of wands and this four of swords, a lot of fours coming through. Yeah, for some of you guys, they want marriage with you, but they're only showing you so much, especially if this is a Scorpio. We got a lot of earth energy too. It's like they're only going to show you so much. And I feel like it's due to fear. It's due to not knowing how you feel. It's a lot of thinking about you at night. Ugh, come on. Angels of the four directions. I feel like they're angels and gods are trying to talk to them, but they're not really paying attention. All right, so how do my viewers person feel about them? We also have deserving some of them, but it's in reverse. Some of them don't even feel like they deserve you, but they still want you. So they're like, oh, oh my gosh. There could also be a block here between you guys. Like maybe spirit is blocking this connection. And we have transformation. Ooh. Okay. There's this video that I might put out, uh, but I'm debating. Um, because you guys won't have no, like, video. It would just be, like, a picture of me and you guys would just hear me talk. Almost like a podcast, almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they have just a picture and it's, like, just somebody talking. Um, but your person could possibly be going through, like, a huge transformation. Something about this connection very, very much so transformed them. And that might be why this is being blocked by spirit. It's almost like they want to come towards you, but I don't know if they're angels and guys. Like, they're talking to them about you, but it's almost like there's also... It could be y'all ancestors. They might be against this right now because they know this person hasn't really fully learned their lesson. It's like, if they come back, they got to come correct. Like, literally. Next moves. Anything else? We have victory in reverse. Let me see if this is backwards. Okay, so that could be upright or reverse. The number 28 or 228 might be significant here for somebody. Maybe something's going to happen on the 28th. We also have anxiety. If this person continues to let fear get in the way, um, and with this, oh, the world card, it's like they're not ending a cycle here. And this could be like, I feel like their emotions are everywhere right now, and that could also be you guys. I don't know, some of them, if they don't speak up, or like, it's crazy because you don't want to like rush this process, especially if they're really trying to go through this transformation. But it's like, if they don't speak up, I don't know, a lot of them feel like they're going to have a missed opportunity. Like they're really going to lose out. There's a lot of anxiety here. The world card, there's a distance here. I feel like they think about you a lot. This person actually, believe it or not, has a lot of emotions for you. But it's like, get out your own way. Like, or I don't know, drop that third party. Let me see. Um, what do they have to do? What's blocking this connection? Let's look at that. What's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection? There could be a third party with the name of T. Girl, these fall on the ground again. I can't do it. Ten of Wands. For some of you guys, they have other responsibilities. They don't even have to be a third party. It could just be other responsibilities. Self-sabotage. Holding on to anger. They could be dealing with some um, struggles at work. They could be arguing with somebody else. It's like a lot of drama going on in their life. But you know what? Okay, because uh, that's what you get. Now, that's for some. Ooh, the Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups? Mm-hmm, why the Two of Cups? They could be dealing with the Leo, Page of Wands, Five of Swords. Okay, the Two of Cups. I'm not sure if that's your energy or their energy, but what's blocking this connection? With the Two of Cups upright, the Page of Wands reversed, and the Five of Swords reversed. be blocked here how do you gonna get to you like if they blocked i don't know there's like someone that could be blocked here there also could be an energy of whoever if there was a third party things aren't going that well for them some of them could be like it's almost like there's some, there's another energy here that's blocking i don't know if this is a friendship that always gossips bad about this connection that's coming through this person could be an aquarius an aries cancer energy coming through here Sagittarius. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody here, there's another energy here, but I'm not like, the, when I say third party, I'm not just getting like a romantic interest. I'm getting like a, this is like a goth, like someone's gossiping about this connection to your person. It's like, or like 
they're just an interference. Y'all know how it be. Sometimes you got them fucking bitter ass friends. Like that's what it's giving and it's like, come on now. But your person also needs to have their own fucking mind. But I feel like it's not helping that you guys have them blocked and you're not really giving them much to like kind of work off of. So it's kind of like they're, you know, the self esteem is kind of low right now. They're not really feeling confident about, you know, coming towards you. So what you got, what is your advice? Let's see. You got the eight of wands and the knight of swords. Um, keep on moving. Um, for some of you guys, ugh, that Knight of Swords is making me think that there might be communication coming in. Don't rush the communication. With this uh, King of Wands, yeah, don't rush the communication. If you guys have been, I feel like some of you guys have been almost this close to reaching out. I'm not sure why you want to reach out. I'm not saying that, but I'm talking about y'all might be like, damn, I want to reach out, but I'm not sure why I want to reach out because I shouldn't be reaching out. They should be reaching out. I feel like it's just you guys are pulling on each other's energy, but don't rush this. Keep moving forward. Um, stay determined and like fixed and focused on whatever path you're already on. If it's meant, this person will catch up. And that's just what it's coming down to. Yeah, with this Five of Pentacles and this Nine of Materials. Yeah, keep grinding. Stay focused. Um, yeah, it's almost like you guys, if this person's going through something, you could feel their energy and vice versa. Like, So it's like a real big energy of stay focused, cut the cord. Yeah, Spirit wants you to take your time with this. I don't know what's about to happen. It could be like some type of communication. What's about to go down here? Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, there's going to be a profession of love, but don't rush it, honey. Don't rush it. Ask yourself, did it change? And this Six of Cups, yeah. There's going to be a return here, whether you want it or not. Like, I don't care if you guys are saying, oh, no, he can stay his ass over there. Well, I mean, he's coming, so, or she's coming. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you guys, that was your reading. Please let me know how it resonates, and I'll see you guys in the comments.